there, it's Karen, and I hope you're having an amazing day. I lost power yesterday, so don't judge my hair. I did what I could in a rush. Very lucky to come home from work today, and I have my power back on. So happy. I had no idea how addicted to the internet I was until I was running around this morning looking for A, coffee, because I have to have coffee, and B, Wi-Fi, <laughs> so that I could check in with everything, see how Facebook was going, and get the scoop on Makeup Talk Forum. Like, apparently I can't go four hours without it. Who knew? And yes, it's on my phone, but it's not as fun on the phone. It's not as good as having it on like a tablet or a laptop. Just, it's not the same. But it has so far worked out. It is raining again, and this time I am ready for it. It's not going to catch me unaware. And to cheer me up about the gloomy weather and the power outages, ah, I've got Birchbox and Ipsy on the same day. So you know that I'm excited. Forget all about that rain stuff. This is going to cheer me right back up. And here is what we got. The bag this month is really a different, unique. I like the color. I think that blue is kind of in. I've seen a lot of that blue in nail polish colors, which I guess is how I judge what's in. And the pattern's a little bit kind of messy and fun. I like this one. It's, it's unique. It has a good feel to it. It feels like it'd be somewhat water resistant. And the card that came with it says, I can't even hardly tell. I guess it says classic beauty in a very difficult to read font. And it is a prettier card than usual. They did a good job with that. And they've been expanding the different brands. So the brands that we get discounts from this month is just phenomenal. And one of my favorites is on there. So I'm kind of excited about this. This is just a lot of offers. This is fantastic. But let's get into the bag and see what's in here. The first item kind of surprised me. It is paper masks. And they actually sent three varieties of it, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Starfruit, Blue Agave, and A La Rose. And these are facial purifying, facial hydrating, and facial brightening. There is almost no way in the universe that I'm not allergic to these, but they're cute. So I will give them to a friend to try out and see what they think of it. Next up in the bag is a mascara, a very timely product, as my Starlux mascara is drying out from earlier this year. From very early this year. I always use them way longer than they recommend. But uh, it's called It's Big. And I tried it out. I did try it over some of my dry mascara from this morning. And it's got this interesting shaped brush. Made it really easy to get those bottom lashes. A little bit odd to get the top ones, but it seems like it did a good job, like, lengthening. Like... I want to say lift and separate, but I know you're not supposed to use that to describe mascara, but that's what it seemed to do. I was kind of impressed with it. It's a little bit of a wetter formula. I like wetter formulas. So yeah, pretty excited to receive this. My cat is hiding under some blue tissue paper from my turntable kitchen box. Woo! Boop! <laughs> I love when she does that. The next product in here is a brand that we have seen from them before. It is Kaylin's Tinted Lip Balm. I've received a gel eyeliner from Kaylin before. Their packaging is kind of nifty. They have a little brush that lifts right out of the lid. And the actual Tinted Lip Balm looks like this. I am currently wearing it. it the brush was nice. This is really highly pigmented. I assume for a, a tinted lip balm that it would just be more like a chapstick with like a cherry tint to it. This looks like a lipstick. It's opaque. It's pigmented. You could probably put it on a little bit lighter for a more sheer look. What it isn't is moisturizing. I'm a little confused by this. If anybody else got it, let me know what you thought of it because a lip balm, I would expect it to like feel nice and it really doesn't have almost has like a lip stain feel, but a little bit stickier. It's a little bit odd. I'm not sure about this one quite yet. And they included an eyeshadow from NYX Cosmetics in a beautiful charcoal. It's called Deep Charcoal. And it's not as dark as you would think. It's a little bit of a lighter pigment, but it's still really pretty. Well, I guess it swatched a lot darker than it did on my eyes. Maybe it doesn't use enough. So, yeah, I like that color. I think it's a good transition into fall. I just combined it with the Urban Decay Sin that I was already wearing. Just put a little bit in the crease right along there and just kind of smudged it out. And I was very fortunate to get Starlux eyeliner. 
it's a coal eyeliner in obsidian. I do have a lot of Starlux eyeliners. I don't have a black one that isn't in pen form, and I don't have one of their coal ones yet. So a new product from Starlux for me, I'm really excited. Swatches out beautifully. I went the whole nine yards and put a little bit on the top of my eyelid and along the bottom of my eyelid, and I even tried to tight line a little bit, which I don't normally do. I'm surprised I still have eyes right now. I also think these two colors go together really well. I was kind of excited to get them both together. A little bit overwhelming to wear with the lip balm, stick stain, whatever you want to call it. But on their own, with like a nude color, that's just beautiful. I love that combination. So overall, another good month from Ipsy. They sent these paper face masks and a mascara, an eyeliner, a lip balm, and an eyeshadow. I love getting cosmetics in these bags. So much fun. This isn't as exciting as last month's bag where I got an Urban Decay lipstick and the Michael Todd Jojoba facial scrub, which let me tell you is just amazing. They both are. But it is still a really good bag. $10, this is awesome. Really awesome. Love it. Clearly Nikita loves it. I highly recommend Ipsy if you're looking for an affordable beauty bag. Only $10 a month. Fantastic. They had a lot of different products this month, so let me know what you got in your bag. I'm really excited to see all kinds of unbagging videos and hear what everyone thinks of what they got. Thank you, as always, so much for watching, and have a fantastic night. Bye.